I removed the stool leg tenons which had been left to dry in the kiln overnight. The kiln is heated by a 40 watt incandescent bulb. This is an adjustable sizer that I made many years ago. It is heavy duty and doesn't flex. A 10mm gouge defines the shoulder and also cuts a small bevel at the end. I like to think that this bevel forces the glue into the sides of the socket and not along in front of it. Some bar grooves are cut to ensure the legs never work loose. I use a homemade mallet to drive the legs home. You will hear a change in pitch when the tenon bottoms out. I also use a register mark on the seat and on the bottom of each leg. I number the four sockets and their legs, always starting at my left hand and going in a clockwise direction. Select your stretcher positions and use a large compass to reproduce them accurately. Adjacent stretchers should miss one another. Enlarge the marks with a bradawl for drilling. The drilling angles for the stretchers are determined using a homemade bevel. A conventional sliding bevel is too thin for stool legs. Sight the metal part from drill point to drill point. A protractor is used to measure the angle. My inclined plane on the drill stand has recessed hinges for accuracy and a slight step on the bottom board to seat the protractor. The legs are placed on the cradle and drilled with a 5-8 inch Forstner bit to a depth of approximately half the diameter of the leg. It is very important that the stretchers are measured properly as the function of the stretchers is to push the legs apart. I use a piece of 6mm dowel exactly 8 inches long and a strip of a school child's wooden ruler cut along its length. The end of the ruler should be zeroed exactly. My right elbow and finger spread the legs apart while the fingers of my left hand slide the dowel and ruler into the backs of the opposing sockets. Add 8 inches to the ruler measurement and write the measurement on the seat beneath. I cut crosshairs on one end for my drive. The skew chisel and the adjustable sizer are used on the stretchers.
the sizer is adjustable as all 5 8 bits are not the same size. Because my lathe drive and stretcher tenon are the same diameter, I am using a sanding drum to create my end better. Otherwise there is a chance that I might damage my skew chisel. I cut a channel with a V chisel to allow excess glue to escape from the blind sockets. At the start of the legging up process, place them in their correct positions. I use a piece of 6mm dowel to put glue on both tenons and sockets. Be sure to number all four stretchers, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 to avoid mixing them up. The mallet has a double layer of leather on one side for a soft hit when needed. Again, listen for the change in sound when the tenons bottom out. This 14 inch low stool has several advantages over a standard 18 inch stool. It's a safe hop up, suitable as a footstool, a side table for your tea and biscuits, handy for lighting or loading a wood stove, especially as you get older. Optional handhold makes lifting easier for older hands. The finish is red mahogany dye followed by black India ink and then three or four coats of thinned Danish oil. <laughs> 